So I did a video showing what the EMF uh, electron, electromagnetic fields are around an electric vehicle when you're charging. My concern was, is it safe to sit in a charging EV? And so I showed the different levels there and there's some areas that are better than others. And when I was driving the EV though, I didn't really get any kind of, you know, significant uh, amount of EMFs. So I actually got more in a gas vehicle. So I'm sitting in a 2024 Mazda CX-30, which is entirely gas. There's absolutely no high voltage battery. There's no hybrid system. It has just a plain Jane engine transmission, just like that. Like it's a, it's a front wheel drive vehicle. And so I just want to show you that, you know, a comparison. People were focusing on the electric vehicles and this is what a gas vehicle uh, does. All right, so now that I've started, you saw a little spike there, and then now this is running. And let's go ahead and drive. And this is the uh, weighted, um, I have it on weighted right here, which is five is supposed to be the max uh, safe level five. So just kind of cruising along. You'll see that it's, it's quite a bit above five, you know. Um, so something to consider when you have, when you have a vehicle or any kind of, machine device or whatever where you have electricity you have metal in motion that kind of stuff it's gonna release some EMFs and I, it, I know it's trendy right now for people to say false things about EVs and try to disparage them but it's just like any other technology you have to compare it to what the alternative is you can't just focus it on uh, say the negatives of a particular technology without looking at the alternatives uh, So, you know in this case we're we don't have any kind of electric vehicle There's a hundred percent gas vehicle, but there's still EMFs in it while you're driving in the electric vehicle I didn't have these type of things I didn't have these type of readings while I was driving It was only when I was charging that there were some places in the back seat which were elevated, um, mostly on the AC uh, charging. And the DC charging is kind of up in the air because people would point out that my meter right here is not a DC meter. So I wasn't able to get accurate readings. That's probably correct. Um, but you know, this is pretty consistent here. And when I accelerate, so it's tied to the engine, you know, uh, it's not a, just a fluke reading here uh, it is it responds to the engine so this is a Geiger counter and people are some people uh, accused me of confusing the EMF reader with a Geiger counter trying to scare people no I know exactly what a Geiger counter is and I have one right here and you can see there's no ionizing radiation there's no nuclear radiation in vehicles okay so I'm not trying to say that. This is a totally different type of deal, um, you know, than, than nuclear radiation, ionizing radiation. That's not what I'm claiming.